we've been noticing a small problem with Turtle. Yes, there's a little geyser here. <laughs> little island in the middle of nowhere has such breathtaking views. It's amazing, right? Anchor's up. Okay, sounds good. I'll start towards that direction slowly. All right, sounds good. Good job. There is about a foot and a half under our keel. There's land right there on our right, and there's shallows on our left. If you'd asked me to do this and drive into this little pocket about a month and a half ago, I would not have felt comfortable, but that is, you know, that's what time does. And it's really, really cool. We are anchored right near the entrance because of that. So, you know, it's nice. So we've been noticing a small problem with turtle. Uh, we have a windlass, which is the thing that basically pulls the chain and the anchor up and puts it down and Sometimes it doesn't work all the way So it's supposed to basically take the chain from the floor all the way back up onto the boat And the anchor is supposed to come right onto the boat and we should be done and ready to move on But at the point where the anchor is basically at this point it has to get kind of pulled over um, It doesn't happen. The windlass just kind of shuts off. We see the circuit breaker sometimes trips and that's bad because then we have to get a 75 pound anchor up over the edge of the boat. Um, it slows us down and it's also a lot of additional effort um, and it's a sign that something's wrong with our windlass. So we are going to go take a look at it. Um, we see that the solenoid, uh, the panel on our control panel says that something's wrong with the up solenoid, which is what controls the power to the windlass. So we're gonna take a look at that um, and hopefully we fix, fix this problem so that we can anchor more comfortably. This right here, we are in the shower, <laughs> and uh, this is where our solenoid box has been installed for our windlass. So the windlass is what puts our chain up and down. This box controls whether or not we are sending power to the pull the chain up part of the motor or put the chain down part of the motor. Some control wires are down here, but basically we have power coming in here, and this determines whether or not we're sending power at all, whether it's going this way or whether it's going that way. Um, we're seeing some indication from our main control panel that something's wrong with the one that sends power to the up. So that's why we're in here. We can see there's a lot of uh, at least what looks like dust and mold in here. It's in the shower, so that's a sign that there's a lot of moisture. So we're going to try to clean everything up, test things out, and see if it works. From this, this backwards. Okay, so um, I'm testing whether or not we're getting power through here, which we shouldn't because the windlass is off right now. And no, the, the, uh, the power says that basically this is zero volts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the windlass. We're gonna go up and down and just see if we can determine that power is going through and that the right amount of power is going through. Okay, while we're doing this, we don't want chain on the gypsy because we don't want to actually unanchor ourselves. So I'm gonna take it off. Okay. okay, so this is the up solenoid. This is the down solenoid. Uh, we can see that the power is going to the two solenoids correctly. We can see that voltage is coming out of these two as expected. It's 0.2 less on the upside, but I don't think that's really a problem. It's still like 12.4 volts. So it doesn't seem like the solenoid is the issue. Seems like whatever problem we're having is at the motor itself. So I think we have to go to the motor and figure out what's happening there. So this is down. That's mostly what it should sound like. And this is up. You'll hear there's much more grinding. It feels like it's just struggling to go up even though there's no load on it at all. So that's what we're trying to figure out. I think the next step is going to be servicing the windlass. We never actually took it apart as since we've owned Turtle. Now it's time to. So we're gonna basically open it up, take everything apart, grease everything that the manual says to grease and oil everything the manual says to oil and just make sure everything's nice and clean. And hopefully that solves the issue. So what I'm doing here is I've disengaged a clutch to the motor. So I'm just spinning out the piece that connects that to the uh, actual gypsy. Don't lose that, that'd be bad. 
We've got the capstan, which was this guy off. We've got the gypsy, which is this, this off. Uh, we've taken off mostly electrical. So what we need to do now is pull this whole unit out, but this is still in the way. So we somehow need to get this shaft out, I believe, because there's a little um, indent here that it pushes out that way and the whole thing comes out this way. So we're gonna try to get that out now and that's the main issue we have. After a few more hours, we decided to take a little break, hop in the dinghy and head over to Spanish Wells. It's a small town that was nearby it's a fishing capital of the Bahamas, and back in the 17th century was the main way that goods were transferred from the New World to the Old World. That was very successful provisioning and also refill our medication for three months so we don't have to hit up any more pharmacies I think until we leave the Bahamas so that is a stress off of our mind now to the beach provisioning complete we headed over to the beach to hang out with some friends for the afternoon before we headed back to turtle Day two of the One Less Project, and we could have finished the project yesterday, actually, or at least gotten a lot ahead of it, but it's such a nice day here in the Bahamas. There's so many nice days that we don't want to spend the whole day doing a project anymore. We don't want to spend eight, ten hours obsessing over a problem, and it was really nice to put the tools down, go have some fun um, with a ton of friends we've made here actually and their families um, on the beach that was really really nice just to sit and chat and not do anything productive <laughs> on the boat that was really nice so let's hope that um, we get the project done today but even if it's not that's okay we'll go do something else fun and then come back and tackle it uh, another day success a little bit of finesse a little bit of just banging on it, but we got it up. I'm gonna go clean it, and Dave's gonna continue the servicing of our windlass. Okay, with the shaft out now, we should be able to pull this whole unit out, like so. So this sight glass here, um, I have it up right now, just as easier to see, but this should be at least halfway full, and I can see that there's just a small dribble of grease in the bottom here. So this may be the issue that we're seeing that basically there's just no grease left in the uh, to lubricate the shaft so we're gonna try to refill this as soon as we can figure out how to refill it and see if that fixes the problem okay last screw out and this guy is also off oh this feels like shavings like metal shavings i probably shouldn't touch that but huh so yeah that's a problem so that's probably been making the grinding noise and grinding down on our windlass even more and more huh <sighs> well all right at least we're gonna clean it up and do it right this time so the metal shavings are probably the result of us running without any real gear lube so that basically the metal is just grinding on itself. So hopefully once we add the gear lube back in, um, that'll prevent that from happening. As well as uh, once we clean this up, hopefully that we haven't done too much damage to the gears that they're not running anymore. See that? Yeah. That's where all the shavings are. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to clean that out flush that out and then uh, the grease should prevent that in the future. Yeah. All right, so we are gonna grease everything, lube everything, and put everything back in its place. And then we're gonna use a sight glass and pour some fresh oil in it. And hopefully this project is almost done. And we would be done with this part if I had put it in correctly. 
So this part is right. This part is right. But the screw goes in the other way. We'll get this. We'll get this eventually. That looks like between halfway and three fourths, which is exactly what we want. Yay! I think I think we're ready to test her and see if everything spins well before we put everything back together. Okay, so we've got the electrical wire back up. The shaft isn't in, but without any resistance, we shouldn't hear anything but the gearbox working normally. So this is down. That sounds normal. Let's try up. It took a few hours of running the windlass, but it finally purred like a kitten and sounded just like it did when we first bought Turtle. So we hauled up the anchor with our now working windlass again and headed off for a new destination. Here at Twin Sisters Beach. Nope. We think those two rocks over there are the Twin Sisters. Uh, we snorkeled here yesterday and it was awesome. There's a place called the Queen's Baths over there, which is like a tide pool that comes in from the ocean, and over there is a glass bridge. So, we're going on a little bit of a hike. So, this right here is the major highway that connects the northeast and southeast side of Eleuthera. And we are crossing it to get over to the Queen's Baths. Does that look like it? Oh, uh, those are the uh, bull. Those are the bull and something rocks. They're a uh, landmark. Oh. Let's go check them out. So the reason that the glass window is so, so popular is because there's a, it shows the stark difference between the deep blue of the ocean and the sort of the Bahamian water colors. And you can see it from here. I mean, we don't have a fancy drone, but you can see how blue it is here versus where we're anchored. And then this giant cliff here is just like, kind of reminds you of why you should be careful out in the ocean. <laughs> 
but yeah, just a little, little island in the middle of nowhere has such breathtaking views. It's amazing, right? Uh, now we are off to find the Queen's Bats, I think. So, oh, if there wasn't a better commercial for these keen shoes, it's me standing on jagged, sharp coral, completely comfortably. So, get these. And they're tie dye. So, you can't lose. Yep. I think this might be as high up as I'm willing to get on these uh, rocks. It still goes a bit of a way, but it's very sharp craggle rock, so it's an awesome view from up here, but I think it's have to move on. Well, Dave got to be king of the rocks, so there's got to be something for me, right? I sit on the game of Throne of Stone. This is my Throne of Stone. Why don't you go to the Underthrone? Underthrown? It's on the other side. No, I like the overthrow. <laughs> See my kingdom. I shall rule from here. And this over here oh. is the underthrown. Ta-da! Okay, let's run away now. That'll scare. I don't like the underthrown. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I like the overthrown then. <laughs> oh, I keep being afraid it's gonna come all the way up here. I mean, the wind is blowing from this way, so I understand the seas are not. But oh my god, that scared me! Echo. Echo. Where the crabbies go? They skittered off. I think so. So this is the inside of the Queen's Bath. Instead of a natural cave that's formed from the, uh, the tide coming in, and you can see all the little pools that were formed. When we came in, there were tons of little crabbies running around, but they ran away since they came here. But yeah, it's really cool. You're going to see the ocean crashing against us. Thankfully, it's not that scary a day, but it's really awesome to see the power of the waves. Okay, that was amazing. Now, off to the glass window bridge. Well, there's a glass bridge right there, but we rock mine. I was like, is that water? Spraying up into the air? And yes, yes, there's a little geyser here. Technically a blue hole right here, sir. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little scary, but I'm glad the wind is pushing it that way. Look at that. Look at the 
that dinghy pilot. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week for more adventures in the Bahamas.